y'all, Shay here. Welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. It is, Whip is W-I-P, stands for Work in Progress, and Chat, we're just gonna hang out. Today is Wednesday, October 9th for me, and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and you guys will see this on Thursday. So it's Wednesday for me, slash Thursday for you, and I am hanging in there. How are y'all doing? Make sure and let me know, um, down in the comments what you're up to. And yeah, we'll just kind of catch up for about an hour. Um, I had a little bit of a sore throat a couple days ago, day before yesterday. So, um, and now I've got some congestion. So um, yeah, not feeling 100%, but I'm about 85, so I'm okay. I'll take that. I know there's some folks out there that are a lot worse off than me. So, and if you are, um, and if you're not doing well, I'm thinking of you and hopefully you're, um, will start feeling better if you're sick or if you have a family member that's sick or if there's anything you're going through personally. Um, I always think about y'all. So definitely leave any comments um, down below. I'd love to, like I said, find out how you are and what you're up to. And so I just started dime painting away, y'all. Waste no time, right? Right, you're probably wondering what I'm working on because I am very zoomed in. Um, I am working on a very big canvas. So this is a diamond painting from Craftably. Um, and if you are interested in this painting, it is, um, at the time of this filming, it is in, still in stock and it's on sale. Let me show y'all my logbook and I'll show you a picture of it. This is Autumn's Golden Moments. And it's a licensed artwork from David Roddinghouse. And it is amazing. Let me just see if y'all can, I'm trying to get you in the light. Sorry, I'm starting to use a little, I'm starting to lose a little bit of daylight but you've got the farmhouse with the kids and the pumpkins, the barn, the truck, the family, the dog, the pumpkins. It's just, yeah, it just screams fall and autumn and I'm loving it. It is a 56 by 24 inches. So it is a very, very large painting. <laughs> um, but I figured, you know, I'm right now, I've, uh, I did, I go from row to row, start at the bottom. And so I'm on the second row up from the bottom on the one, two, third square. So we're gonna get there. I'm just gonna take my time, work on it in November, and then put it out for Thanksgiving and see if anyone else wants to work on it. And then um, put it up and then we'll do it, bring it out again next year. So I figured it'll be like an annual, you know, um, Thanksgiving, fall, autumn diamond painting until it's finished. One other um, thing I wanted to mention, I just heard him in the background. Hopefully y'all don't hear him, but I did um, dust off uh, the cobwebs and dust off some of the dust on the 3D printers. Um, I do have some 3D printers in my craft room. They're in the closet, so I've got the doors closed. But if you hear any noise in the background, that's because I've got those fired up. I don't know, I just got a wild hair and I was like, you know, oh, I know what started it. Um, I've printed um, 3D printed pen holders before for all my pens. And I've got some new pens recently and I realized I didn't have any more room. I had no more pen holders. So I was like, ooh, I need to print one off for myself. So I've got one printer going that's printing off three pen holders. So I figured I'll make one for myself and then I'm gonna see how well they look and then maybe um, print them off for my Patreons for their next quarterly gift or like a Christmas present or something. So I'm gonna see how those turn out. So far, so good, they're looking pretty good. They just take a long time to make because they're really tall. Um, I don't want short ones because I wanna make sure my pens don't you know, fall out. And then my other printer, I fired that up and it's printing some trays. It's printing four trays. I don't know, we'll see how they're turning out. One of them's not great, the other three might be okay, so we'll see, and they've got charms in them. So, yep, thought I'd print some shade trays and see what color combination. It's just gonna be a rainbow. We'll see what color they come out. And yeah, so again, I'll probably just keep those for uh, Patreon gifts, because I owe some other folks some trays. I never finished um, printing off any trays. All right, so I uh, showed y'all my diamond painting, and then my pen is from Diamond Pen Pal. It's this beautiful orange, red, yellow, gold, just, just, I love it. It's like fire, it's very, very fall. Um, this is one of the pens that has the roll stop on one side, so it is flat. So whenever I go to set it down, it doesn't roll off my table. So yeah, I love these. So that's my, that's my Diamond Pen Pal pen. And then I am using a Coverminders from Coverminders Saban. I showed y'all this in my last whip and chat. I've got my cute little pumpkin here, keeping me company. And then I am using my bead storage from Craftably. And there are 71 colors in this kit, so I've got two of these going on. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one, y'all. 
Uh, what else? So I feel like I'm out of breath. I don't know why. Maybe because I just walked up the stairs. Plus, like I said, I'm not feeling 100%. And you know, it kind of just takes the air out of you. So let's go back. And we've talked about how I'm like I said, I'm hanging in there. We'll talk more about what's been going on this past week around here and kind of catch all up on life and diamond painting stuff. Um, so again, let me know how you are. Don't forget, I always look forward to all the comments and they're just my absolute favorite. Uh, there's a lot of browns in this painting, a lot of oranges. So yeah, I'm not getting tired of it because I just started on this October 28th. So I really haven't been working on it all that long. So I gotta keep going y'all. Uh, I do have some coffee. I'd like to drink some coffee in the afternoon. Got one of my beautiful um, gifts that I got from Karen Scott. She's one of my friends here on YouTube. And so a beautiful mermaid coffee cup. I don't know if you can see the mermaid. But yeah, I've got some uh, Starbucks gingerbread. Little K cup in there. All right, I'll try not to sniffle too much. And if I do, I'll edit it out. All right, so let's talk about how things have been and what we've been up to. So last time we talked when was Wednesday for me, Thursday for y'all. And last Wednesday, um, I know in the last whip and chat, I had talked to y'all about our bunny. I say our bunny, my daughter's bunny. So Lou's bunny Oreo. And I kind of told you how, you know, he had bit me and I don't know if he was biting or if he was just curious and nibbling on me. I don't know. But anyways, he's, no one takes, I mean, I'm the only one that takes care of him. Poor guy. No one gives him any attention really. So, uh, I had talked to Lou about, you know, taking care of him that night, Wednesday night. I was like, you need to, you need to feed him. You need to change his litter box, all the things. She was like, I will. And it was getting late. And I'm like, okay, okay. I mean, it's like the same song, different day. You know, I tell her every day, take care of the bunny, take care of the bunny. She's probably so tired of me saying it. And I'm tired of repeating it, but you know, it's her, that's her bunny. And that was the deal. If she wanted it, she was going to take care of it. So, um, she said she was going to take care of him after she got out of the shower. So at this point it's like eight thirty, nine o'clock. Well, she comes out of the shower and she's crying. And I thought maybe she slipped or fell. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She's like, I thought about it. And I think we need to find the bunny a new home. And she was bawling. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, okay. I'm proud of you for, you know, realizing that. I said, but here's, here's what we'll do. If it's meant to be and we find him a new home, I'll kind of just start poking around a little bit and seeing if anyone's interested and mentioning it to some folks and we'll see. And if we find him a new home, then it's meant to be. If not, then we'll keep him and we'll do our best. So she's, she agreed, but she was very, you know, she was tearful and very crying, you know, crying about it. So um, I'll tell you all more about the bunny story as the week went on. So that was Wednesday. Uh, like I said, she you know decided she does think it's probably best if we find him a new home because I think she's you know tired of me riding her every day to take care of him and it's like this big deal every single day. I mean, it's a lot of work to take care of a bunny. You just can't. It's not like the hamster. I mean, you got to do something every day with him. And you know, I don't know if he's got a great life. I mean, to be honest with you, I do feel bad. Um, I know some feel, some some of y'all have made some wonderful comments in my um, last whip and chat about, you know, bunnies and really, really informative and really, I really do appreciate it. Um, someone had mentioned that, you know, he might be lonely and I definitely think that's part of it. You know, he might do well with another, with another bunny. So we'll see. I did look on Facebook marketplace to see if they had like any animals for rehoming or, you know, anything like that. And I couldn't find anything on Facebook. So maybe that they kind of frown upon like selling animals on there. I'm not sure. But I started there and it looks like in my city, they do have like a, um, an animal shelter that does like special specializes in rabbits. So I'm going, definitely going to uh, reach out to them and, uh, look into that a little bit more, but something else had happened too. So, um, okay. So that was Wednesday. And then, uh, so Wednesday I was, you know, just, I did my whip and chat and I was letting it, you know, got it all uploaded and ready to go to YouTube. And then I decided to, um, I thought about it and I was like, okay, now that I've got that done and that'll go up on Thursday, what am I gonna do Thursday? I've done my video for the, for, I've done my whip, whip and chat for the week. Um, my husband's out of town, kids will be at school. I was like, wonder what Randy's doing if she wants to play. So I reached out to her and I thought, there's no way, it's super last minute, but I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks. 
it feels like. And I, don't, I think it's been a couple weeks. And so I reached out to her on a Wednesday and I said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? And she did have some stuff planned, but she had a video to um, film and upload that she would promise someone. And she did that. She was planning on doing it on Thursday, but she did it the night before just so we could hang out, which was really, really sweet. And I know she had some other stuff to, going on, but she made time for me. And she's just a wonderful friend, you guys. We, um, I couldn't wait to go over there, but it seemed like I might not be able to go when it came down to it. And I was so excited. So thir uh, for Thursday morning, I wake up and before I after Lou had gotten out of the shower and we had the conversation about the bunny, she had told me there was something in her eye and her eye really hurt. So she started kind of screaming and crying, my eye, my eye. And I got, we got the flashlight out, you know, got my glasses on, um, turned the light on in the bedroom. I mean, you name it, we were trying to figure it out. Flushed it with water, um, trying all the tricks, put eye drops in there. And she still kept, well, finally she, you know, stopped complaining about it and was able to go to sleep. Well, she woke up Thursday morning talking about her eye hurting. I'm sorry, Lou's calling me. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Lou was asking me when her Amazon package is going to be arriving. She wanted some Crocs. Not just any Crocs, but the Crocs with the fur. It reminds me of that song. Boots with the fur. All the club was looking at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. Shorty got low, low, low. <laughs> uh, I don't want Shorty going low, but she, um, yeah, she's going to get some Crocs with some fur. A little fur inside. And we Amazoned them, and she got them last week. Or it was Monday, yeah, Monday, and they were the wrong size. They don't, they're too small. So I need to return those, and I ordered her another pair. And they're just white. She already has a white pair, and she wears them every day. And her white ones were getting really dirty and really nasty. So we decided to go with the winter Crocs. So yeah, she's wondering when they're coming. I'm like, I don't know. When you see a box on the front porch, they'll be here. <laughs> That's what I said to her. Um, all right, so we're okay. So. Thursday morning, Lou wakes up and she's like, my eye, my eye. I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to go to Randy's. This is not gonna work out. So we go through the whole thing about her eye and then I started feeling bad, feeling like, oh, I'm just telling her to go to school and go see the nurse because I just wanna go hang out with my friend. And I'm like, but is there really something wrong with her eye? Then out of the blue, y'all, I wish I would have thought of it, but I didn't. It kind of you know, slipped my mind, but she all of a sudden remembered that the book fair at school was that day. And I'd given her money in her e-wallet to go to the book fair with her class and go shopping. So all of a sudden she's like, my eye, my eye, and complaining, complaining, I can't go to school, I can't go to school. And then it dawns on her and she goes, mom, uh, is the book fair today? I said, as a matter of fact, it is. She's like, did you give me money in my account? I'm like, I did. She's like, okay. And then she went and got dressed and went to school. I was like, what? <laughs> just happened <laughs> thank you book fair <laughs> thank you very much so yeehaw for the book fair y'all um yeah and then uh who else wasn't feeling good i don't know it seemed like it was one thing after other. then then ryan said he didn't feel good and then nate had a nate didn't feel good so nate didn't go to school thursday or friday it just was yeah and it just was one thing after the other and so i the boys are old enough to be able to stay home. You know, they're not feeling good. But y'all, it seems like every morning, it's like we play the game of, you know, am I gonna go to school or not? I'm like, y'all miss too much school. Y'all need to pull it together and just go. Unless you're throwing up or have diarrhea or you have a fever, you need to go to school. So we try to make that the rule, but I don't obviously stick to that. I mean, it doesn't count if you have something in your eye which she's had happen before. And we had to go to the eye doctor and they pulled out a string or no, a piece of grass. Sorry, a piece of, that was somebody else that had a string in their eye, a piece of grass behind her eyelid. So that was a thing. So I thought we were gonna have to go to the eye doctor again, but, and she never complained about it again. So I was again, having a little bit of guilt thinking, oh, I'm just telling her, trying to shove her off to school. And then she tells me, I'm like, well, go see the nurse if it starts hurting you. And she's like, all the nurse is gonna do is tell me to drink water and send me back to class. I was like, for your eye? She's like, yeah, or give you a magic cracker. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> oh, y'all, to be a school nurse. No, thank you. I guess the magic crackers don't work anymore when you're 10. But yeah, she's she's caught on to that one, I guess, for your tummy hurting. Um, yeah, that's one job I definitely would not have. So if you're a school nurse, hats off to you. 
because I can't even imagine. Or a school teacher, just working with kids in general, y'all. Oof, that, that's gotta be a tough one. So Thursday, I finally made it out of the house and I stopped at Starbucks for us. And I got us a couple Starbucks and I got a pumpkin loaf and I got a pumpkin spice latte. I was doing all the pumpkins. And yeah, went off, went to her house, got there about, mm, about 9.30. And then we just hung out and caught up and chatted and diamond painted until about, mm, about 12.30, one o'clock. Uh, went to our regular spot, Chipotle, and we did a mobile order. She treated, so it was very nice. And um, before I went to her house, I was thinking to myself, okay, I was putting on a little bit of makeup. You know, I gotta look, I gotta put some makeup on to go see Randy, right y'all? Cause she's, she's, she's beautiful, right? And she, you know, that's what she does for a living is makeup. So not, I always don't have to do that, but sometimes I do. And I was feeling in the mood to put a little bit of makeup on, it makes you feel better. So I went to put on my makeup and I realized I had no more eyebrow pencil. And I was like, oh, I need to put that on my list to order or something. And you know, I'm not good with makeup and all that stuff. So I was like, ooh, I know what I'll do. While I'm at Randy's, I'll ask her opinion on what color she thinks I should get for my eyebrows, uh, for eyebrow pencil and then, Maybe, maybe, oh maybe, because she sells her own makeup, maybe she has something for me to buy at her house if she has any inventory or any stock. So we were we had lunch and everything, and uh, it was really good. Brought it back to her house and ate. And then we started dime painting, and I'm like, oh, by the way, I meant to ask you to have a makeup question. And we never really talked a whole lot about makeup before. I mean, you know, we talked a little bit about it, and I know, you know, a lot of what she's done, but I don't really get into makeup, so it's not something we discuss all the time. But... I mentioned the eyebrows and she goes, come here. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get mad at me talking about it, but wow. Does she have, I mean, that's what she, that's what she did. That's what she does, right? For a living. Uh, that's what she, I mean, yeah, before COVID that's, you know, that was her, that's what she did. And she's, she has the most amazing setup of makeup. She would do trade shows. She did weddings. She opened up these cabinets and I was like ooing and aahing and I'm not even into makeup that much, but I was so impressed. It was so cool to see the brushes, the different size brushes, all the different lipsticks and, uh, and eyeshadows and all the things. She had these huge cabinets and she just opened and was like, oh, and if y'all are a makeup person, you probably would have died. I mean, if Lou would have been there, my daughter, my 10 year old, she would have been like, oh my gosh, because she loves makeup stuff. But Oh my gosh, Randy was so sweet. She dug and dug and dug through some of her stuff that she hasn't done in a while. And she was like, I know what's in here, I know what's in here. So she found two different pencils for me to try. There's like a blonde and then like another one. And I love them. And she didn't make me, I was trying, she, I said, I'll buy them. She's like, no, no, just take them. I was like, okay. So yeah, she hooked me up with some eyebrow pencils, y'all. And I got to see her makeup stash. Her makeup stash is incredible. So if y'all need any makeup, I don't know if she wants me to talk about it, but randystrand.com. I didn't even ask her, but I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> She's got some amazing stuff. And we had such an awesome conversation and seeing her passion and her excitement and just having her talk about, you know, makeup stuff and what she's done. You could tell how much she loves it and she's so good at it. And, you know, and I asked her if she missed it. And she says yes and no, and I, I, get, I get it, you know. Um, she doesn't miss weddings, so I can only imagine dealing with the bride and the family and all the things. She tells me some great stories. And then the bridesmaids, you know, all the, just the whole thing. And yeah, so I bet she doesn't miss that. Uh, but just, you know, dealing with people and you know what? She's really good with people and she's so, you know, um, she's just a good person. And I would love, I mean, I'd love hanging out with her and I would love to hang out with her and just have her do my makeup. So, you know, as a client, I bet they just loved her so much and she's just so natural and makes you feel so comfortable. That's the word I was looking for. So comfortable. So anyways, I got my eyebrow pencil. I got my Randy time and I left about, so Lou was walking home from school and then some kids weren't, didn't need to be picked up because they didn't go to school that day. So I got to hang out longer than I normally get to. I hung out for, I don't know about three, I guess. So we had a really good day. I'm gonna make sure we're still filming because that would, okay, that would suck if we weren't. Oh, I had a, something happen the other day, y'all. I went to film an unboxing and I was getting towards the end of almost being done with it and I thought I would poke my head up just to make sure it was it was still recording and it had stopped like about a minute after I'd hit record. I was like, no, I had to redo the whole thing. 
yep, it happens. But now I'm a little, little gun shy. I'm like, oh no, oh no, is it filming? So, all right, so that was Thursday. And then, and then, uh, so after I went to Randy's, I had promised Lou, ugh, I had promised Lou over the weekend, her and her best friend wanted to go to the mall. And I said, no, cause it was kind of, they wanted to go like, I don't know, I think it was like Sunday. And I'm like, no, I got my live. I'm not really feeling like it. I'm like, I'll take, I'll take you on one day, one day, let's plan it. And they're like, what about Thursday night after school? I was like, that's fine. So I, I forgot about it. Well, Lou reminded me when I called her from Randy's and said I was getting ready to leave. So after hanging out all day, which, you know, it, it, you know, socializing can kind of wear you out a little bit, you know, again, I love hanging out with her, but just, you know, ch chatting and kind of hanging out all day. Um, I didn't really feel like going to the mall, but I did. I took the girls to the mall and we were there for like three hours. Yes. I was like, are y'all ready? Are you ready? There's such girls. They went into all these little stores and we're looking at all these little things and I gave her a budget and they went and got some food and yeah, I let them kind of, I let them kind of go off on their own, but I was like, I could see them down the, down the aisle. So they were feeling like they were big kids, but I was right there. And of course they both have watches and phones and all the things, so I could get a hold of them. But yeah, so did them all and I got a pair of pants. So I got something, I got, I got a coffee, I went to Starbucks. And then what else y'all, that was pretty much Thursday. I was so, I was so tired. And then uh, Friday, uh, let's see, Friday was cool. Um, so I mentioned it on my live this past Sunday but I had, um, I use, like we have our Christmas lights put up on our house every year by the same guy and a couple of his friends. And I contact him every year, the first of November. And I'm like, hey, you still doing Christmas lights? And he's like, yep. And I said, you know, uh, when, when can you come? He's like, I can come this week. I was like, all right. So it all kind of happens fast. But as I figure, you know, I'd rather have my Christmas lights on the house up early rather than late because I know they get booked up. And I don't want to pay the money to have the lights put up and only have them up for, you know, a couple of weeks. I want to have them up for a while and, you know, get my money's worth. So plus there's a lot of um, houses in the neighborhood that already have their Christmas lights up. Now, I haven't decorated the inside of the house yet. I will wait um, till after Thanksgiving. Hopefully I can wait. We'll see. And that's what I normally do. But then they, uh, so he called, yeah, they came Friday. Now, sometimes he says he's coming and then he kind of fl flakes out on me and doesn't come that day, but he actually came. And so I had to go in the attic and, you know, hurry up and cause I kind of forgot they were coming that morning. And last minute he says he's like 10 minutes out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was climbing up in the attic and sweating and getting wreaths down. And cause we have them install a couple of different um, lit wreaths on the house too, like over the front door and um, in the front of the house. So yeah. I took a video last night for my Patreons and showed them. It's basically the same thing we put up every year. We already have our own lights. They just come and we just put the bins out and they, you know, yeah, they come and put them up for us. So they, we got our Christmas lights up on Friday. So check that off the list of Christmas stuff to do. And then um, Nate, like I said, Thursday, Nate didn't go to school and because he had a really bad sore throat. Well, Friday, he still was saying he felt bad and his throat felt worse. And I thought, okay. And he said he's got a lot of kids at school that have strep or have the flu. He never, and when I checked his temperature and he had like 99 something, so I guess it was a low grade fever, very, very low, but he had a little bit of a fever. So um, I took him to the doctor on Friday and they did a strep test and a flu test at the pediatrician's office and both came back negative. So she just said he just has a, um, a just a cold, you know, and just keep an eye on it and, you know, try Mucinex and some of that stuff. And he was congested. So, um, and I figured, you know, over the weekend he would have time to, you know, get better. But, um, and then that night we went out to dinner, um, cause my husband got into town Thursday night cause he hadn't gone during the week. And we went out to dinner to a place called Ford's. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but it's, you know, Ford's like the, the car Ford's has their own uh, restaurant chain now. And it's really good. There's like a car inside above the bar. It's really, really cool. And it's all like car themed, like your, um, your napkins, are like um, rags, I don't know what you call them, you know, like shop rags is I guess what they're called. So, and then the clamps around your um, napkins, the napkin rings are like some clamp for like a car. So yeah, it's all really car. And even the burgers uh, or any of the sandwiches, all the buns come stamped uh, with like a Ford symbol. So it's, it's cool. So we went there and had dinner Friday night. We hadn't gone out to eat in a really long time. 
So it was fun to get out. And Nate went with us and he felt okay enough to, you know, kind of get out of the house because he's been home for a couple of days, not going to school. So he went out with us and ate. And once we knew that he wasn't contagious and he didn't have the flu or strep, we, you know, knew he could go out. So yeah, so that was Friday night. Now remember in my last whipping chat, if y'all saw that one, or not saw, but if you listened to it, um, I had told y'all that Nate was planning on having a wrestling match with 11 of his friends on Saturday. Well, it didn't happen. Wah, wah, wah. I'm secretly happy because I was very, very nervous. It was twofold, right? I was happy he was gonna have friends over and do like a get together. Cause like I told y'all, that's not really him. So I was I was happy when it, when it came to that aspect of it. But then I wasn't sure about the whole wrestling part and I was nervous that somebody was gonna get hurt. Well, uh, he was not feeling well and then looked like a couple of other, a couple of other friends uh, had gotten sick too. So the wrestling match has been postponed. So that didn't happen on Saturday. So I have no, no good wrestling match stories to update y'all on. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to update you on that, but nope, didn't happen. And then let's see. So I, I've been kind of thinking for a while that I wanted new chairs for my craft room because the chairs that I have, I inherited them. And they're more like black. If y'all saw, I don't know if you've probably seen in my in my uh, like lives and stuff before my craft room tour, but they're just like black um, office chairs, like industrial looking, not real super comfortable, more ergonomic, I guess you could call them for like, and they were, they came from an office and they were free. So I was like, okay, so I got them and that's what I've been using. And I had two of them in here because I have two different desks. Um, one I use for, um, it's got my computer on it when I do my lives. And when Randy comes over, it's like two different sit spaces. You can have a friend over to dime paint. So, which, uh, that reminds me, I need to do a craft room tour update, especially since I got new chairs. So I got a wild hair and I was like, you know what? I started looking, um, on Facebook marketplace on Saturday morning. And I was like, I really want to get new chairs. I really don't like these chairs and I really want to get new ones. Um, and so I mentioned, I, uh, well, when I was at the mall with the girls on Thursday night, I went into Pottery Barn and I went and looked at their office furniture and they had this beautiful chair, but it was $799. So I came home and told my husband, he's like, uh, no, <laughs> he goes, unless you want to use your YouTube money. You're, I was like, uh, no, I don't, I don't have that kind of YouTube money. Um, but yeah, no. So I started looking at Facebook marketplace going, okay, maybe I can find something used just like it. Um, maybe someone selling a pottery barn chair. And so I knew the style that I wanted once I saw that one in there and I was like, okay. So I went on Facebook marketplace and they had some in our area, not pottery barn ones, but one that looks similar to it. And one of them said they got it from Nebraska furniture mart. And that's a furniture store that we have here um, locally. That's really, really big. And I thought, Ooh, I didn't even think about looking for chairs at that store because they're more reasonable. So I go on the website and I um, licked in, looked in the licked, looked in the clearance section and did a couple of different filters. I did two filters. Uh, I did in stock because I didn't want to have to order it in stock on display because I wanted to be able to sit in it if possible before I buy it. And then um, office chair was the other category, right? So only one chair came up, y'all. One chair. And it was in brown and blue. And the colors I have in my craft room, I have a rug in here, a ruggable, and it's got blue in it, blue and yellow. And so I really wanted a blue chair. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And it was exactly the style that I've been looking for. And I didn't want any arms because I like to sit um, crisscross applesauce with my, you know, my legs kind of tucked in and I sit on my, my knees. So I was like, okay. Uh, and I didn't, they had the blue. I'm like, are you kidding me? And it says they were in stock. So I hopped in Nate's truck. Um, Lou wanted to come with me. So her and I went up, went up there. And, uh, so we had bought a rug from them, uh, like two years ago and the rug started to, and we bought, um, a warranty on it, like a guarantee package on it in case something happened to it. And sure enough, it started to fray and like fall apart. So we reached out to them and they came and picked it up and gave us store credit. So we had about like, I don't know, $700 worth of store credit at this furniture store. Well, I had thought for sure it had already expired because we didn't, I think we forgot to use it. We don't really, didn't need any furniture. And like I said, I think we kind of, I, th I thought it was only good for like 60 or 90 days. And it'd been like a year or two ago. Well, my husband mentioned it. He's like, I think we have store credit there. You should see if it's still good. I'm like, no way. I'm like, I'll try, but I doubt it. He goes, no, just try. 
So Lou and I go to customer service and there's about 20 people in line. We waited in line for about 30 minutes to be able to find out we did have the store credit. So it was worth it. I'm like, yes. All right, done. Now this chair that I saw online was $140. And I thought, ooh, I could get two of them. My husband's like, only get one. I was like, okay. Well, we found that, so we were walking upstairs in the furniture section, because the lady's like, the only downside is she's like, yes, you have store credit, but if you want to use it, you have to um, come back in this line and see me again. I was like, oh gosh, okay. Hey, free chairs, y'all, whatever. I gotta do what you gotta do. So I was like, okay. So Lou and I go upstairs to the furniture department. We're looking, we're looking. I see the chair, but I see the brown one. And I was like, oh, this is it, this is it. So we sit in it and it's really comfy because the reviews were mixed. Some people said it wasn't very comfortable. So um, we, a lady sees us sitting in a chair, a sales lady, and she walks over. And so we ask her, um, I'm like, yeah, this was online, but there was a blue one. She goes, yeah, it's closed out. It's right over here. I was like, yes. So she, we found the blue one. We sat in it. It's a perfect color blue. It's cobalt blue. And I was like, yes, we're interested in this one. I said, she goes, okay. I said, yeah, we just, I want one. And I looked at Lou and I'm like, I really want two. And she goes, well, let me just see if we have any that are, um, this is a display. Let me see if we have any uh, new ones, you know, in stock. So she goes, oh, you're in luck. We have three. We only have three. And I looked at Lou and Lou looked at me. I'm like, hmm, I got store credit. They're only $140. And I had a Veterans Day uh, coupon that took some money off. So I was gonna make it cheaper. I was like, I'm gonna do it. So I said, like, we'll take two, please. <laughs> so we just, uh, so then we had to go back in that line. Oh, y'all, we spent like over an hour just waiting in line. But again, no compl no complaints. So, so we um, bought the chairs, awesome, no money. I was like, yes. So it was a good day. Uh, we went around to the, uh, the pickup area. They loaded it up in the truck. I did not use my car this time. For those of you that remember the story, I scratched the roof in interior of the roof of my new car because I was trying to put a, the blueprint rack that I have in my craft room. I was trying to squeeze it in there and we have a truck. I wasn't being smart y'all. So I learned my lesson and yes, I did use the truck and it was nice. I didn't have to worry about, you know, loading it in there and having it scratch anything, just load it up. So we got our two chairs. Stopped in and out, got lunch for everybody. It was a good day. Um, yeah, so we got home. My husband put them together for us. And I got two new chairs. I'm so happy. I'm sitting in one right now. Um, Lou, hit, she sits in the other one and she colors and draws and she hangs out with me up in my craft room. That's another reason why I have the other desk. It's nice because people will come up here and just hang out with me and sit in the extra desk and the chair. And they'll just, you know, like I said, Lou does her arts and crafts and she'll like to come up here and hang out. Um, she's diamond painted before up here, but again, not for very long. She doesn't last very long. But so yeah, I got my two new chairs free and we still have store credit left there. So Lou wants to use the store credit because she, the rest of it, she wants to get a new bed. So she is 10 and she has a twin bed still. She's had the same twin bed since she, you know, was since she, you know, she grew out of her crib essentially. So we thought, man, maybe it's time to get her a big girl bed. So we, we were looking at beds um, at, at the store and she saw a loft, a loft style bed. It's got a desk underneath, but it's almost like a bunk bed. Um, so I don't know y'all. I don't know if I like that style. It is a full, it's a full on top. And then there's an open area underneath for a desk. I just, it feels like it's like bunk beds, like something she'd want when she was a baby. I was kind of hoping she was going to have her next bed would be something she would have for a long time. You know, like her last bed until she moves out. I don't know. So we're still kind of toying with that. So we looked at beds and so we finally got out of there. So I was exhausted just from waiting in line, shopping, waiting in line, you know, loading it up, the whole thing. So it was a day, but it was a good day. I'm not much of a shopper, nor am I like a furniture shopper. It's probably the last thing I like to shop for. But like I said, I just had a wild bug and I had well, hair up my butt and I was like, I want a chair. And I was willing to, I wanted a cheap chair, you know, cause I was gonna be spending my own money. Okay, hold on one sec. All right, I am back. All right, so where were we? I, I got a call from Lou. She had left to go to a friend's house um, on her bike. And she called me and like in the neighborhood, she was like, mom, my bike's broken. It's not working. And y'all, she just got this bike for her birthday. Uh, and I said, I bet it's the chain. I said, let me come, you know, meet you. And I was in the middle of um, changing 
I was about to change the bunny's litter box when she called. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I had to go pick her up in the truck. I've got like black, I didn't get it all off, but I tried to fix the chain, but I couldn't figure it out. So I'm gonna have to go to the um, bike store tomorrow where we bought it. I have the receipt and everything, and I'm sure it's just a simple fix, but you know, hubby's out of town and I don't know how to fix. She's like, that's my new bike. I'm like, we'll fix it. Don't worry, it's probably a simple fix. Just the chain is off the, off the, and I don't know where, it's not as, it's like, it's got gears. So there's several different pieces they could go back onto. And so I don't know which one it goes to. I don't know how to put it back on this little track. So yeah, we had a little, little thing there we had to deal with. All right, so back to what we were talking about. Um, so yeah, the chairs, um, got that Saturday. And so Saturday night, we decided to order uh, Indian food. We love Indian food. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you also like Indian food. We like all the things. Um, whenever we lived in China, we really, um, there was an Indian restaurant called Bollywood and it was so good. We'd get it like all the time and they would deliver it to our house. It was just up the street and really, really good. We'd like, of course, butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. I love anything spicy. So the, the, the naan, um, alu gobi, uh, the paneer, everything. I just love it. Love, love, love Indian food. So we went and got Indian food because Lou was going to be, um, having a sleepover at someone else's house. Her, her best friend, we're going to sleep over at another little girl's house. So it's going to be a th three of them. And I thought, uh Oh, that normally doesn't go well, but it's not here. So, um, and the next day I asked her how it went and I was like, how did all three of y'all go? Cause normally with three, someone gets left out or, you know, something happens, you know, it's like the third wheel, but yeah, she said it went good. And so she, um, spent the night over there Saturday night and then Sunday she got home. Um, I don't know, I guess it was about, about two, but while she was, um, gone, I mean, her, my brother, her brothers were here, not my brothers, her brothers, the boys were here. Uh, and then she was there. So in case she came, but my husband and I went to Costco. We thought, let's get our, you know, food out, our chores done for the week. Let's get some food. So we, we, did, we braved Costco on a Sunday and that was rough. I, I prefer to go during the week, but I definitely appreciate his help because, you know, he's helping me load, unload, and I'm not having to do it by myself during the week, but definitely a busier crowd on the weekends. Um, it was like the after church crowd on a Sunday. So there was lots of people, but we loaded up on, you know, waters and got some food for the week. And let's see. So that was, and then Sunday after that, then I had my live on, um, at four. So if you're new and you don't know, I do go, I have live streams. I do go live. So I'd love to have you. So please join me on Sundays, Sunday afternoon, um, at 4 PM central standard time. And I do like to have guests, but this past Sunday, I decided to not have a guest and have, you know, have your, you had my undivided attention. I tried to really focus on y'all and try to be present. So it was really, really fun just to get to hang out with you guys. And I really enjoyed it. So, I mean, I enjoy all the lives, but it just had a different feel, a little bit different than, you know, having a guest all the time. So yeah, love it. What else y'all? Um, so that was Sunday. And then Monday, 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 what happened Monday? Oh, I had my doctor's appointment for my hysterectomy follow-up because it had been six weeks. I had, he saw me, I had to do a two week follow-up. And then at two weeks, he said, I want to see you back in four weeks because I still had um, an internal um, stitch that was not fully healed. And I couldn't be cleared for all the things yet for lifting. And um, so he saw me uh, Monday. I went Monday morning. And yeah, he said I looked great and I got released. So I'm clear for all duty. I can um, lift heavy things, participate in all the fun stuff. So yeah, yes. So I'm officially done with that. Um, he did tell me though, he goes, how are you feeling? I'm like, I've been really tired and I've been fighting fatigue. And so he said, um, let's do some blood work, which I'll know I hate blood work, but if it's going to make me feel better and find out what's going on, um, cause he does, he said, you know, I'm 48 and you know, it could be hormones, you know, at this age it happens. So, um, and that's something he specializes in is, you know, female hormones. Cause I've been going to my general practitioner for this and I never really thought to go to my 
my gynecologist. And so, you know, while I was in there seeing him for the hysterectomy stuff, I was like, by the way, so I go back in next week for blood work, but I, they couldn't do it that day because I had not fasted. So yeah, yippee, more blood work. So we'll see, maybe it's thyroid, maybe it's something else. Um, I know, um, you know, Randy does the pellets. So yeah, maybe there's something else, you know, hormonal that they can do to help me. Maybe I'm lacking in something. So we'll see what he says. And then let's see, Tuesday, what happened? That was just yesterday for me, y'all. Oh my gosh, like a blur. Tuesday, oh, so Lou woke up with a sore throat and I had had a sore throat, you know, the day before. It's all because of Nate. Uh, we're gonna blame Nate. And so she stayed home from school with a sore throat. Well, the throat didn't seem to be that sore after, you know, school had started. And I was like, okay. But I said, while you're home, when you're feeling okay, we're gonna do this because she really wants a new bed, right? Well, in order to get a new bed, she needs to make room, right? So I was like, we need to clean your room. Her room is a disaster. I mean, a disaster. You couldn't even see the floor. I mean, I'm embarrassed to say it was that bad, but it was. And I've been putting it off and putting it off. And like Katie, Diamonds and Washi has, says bef has said before, and I can totally relate, she didn't have the spoons, enough spoons, right? We're only allocated a certain amount of spoons a day. And I just could not get myself to work on her room. I would want to do it every day and I'd put it off every day and it would just pile up and get worse and just, you know, weigh me down. And I feel a load lifted off me because it got done. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. There's some sense of it. Now you can see the floor. We got rid of like two garbage bags full of like junk. And uh, there was some tears this morning because she found that I did throw away something that I wasn't supposed to. But I'm like, she's never gonna know. And of course she asked about that one thing. Oh, where'd he go? I'm like, I threw it away. Oh. I was like, sorry. Like you need to stop getting new stuff because you got too many things. Now she used to have a playroom because a lot of the houses here in Texas, you know, a little bit of a bigger house and you could have a playroom and all her friends have playrooms. I mean, I didn't have a playroom when I was a kid. I put my toys in my room. So she doesn't have a playroom because we made the craft room for me. And so she has to actually keep her toys in her room. Well, Barbies, American Girl doll, all the little Nicky Nacks things, the squash mallows, you know, all the things, it just it adds up. And she has, and then plus the, ben, the bunny cage takes up a lot. The big bunny hutch takes up a lot of room and a lot of space in her room. So speaking of the bunny, um, the program where Ryan goes to, they have therapy animals and they have a, um, I noticed the other day, he said he had a headache. So I ran up some ibuprofen for him and when I was up there, I was waiting at the front desk and I noticed they had a guinea pig behind the counter. So I said to the girl, I'm like, so um, would y'all be interested in a bunny to, to have here? And she's like, what kind of bunny is it? And I was like, what? Is this a possibility? And I said, um, I don't know. I, he was given to us and we've, he's about a year old and I have a picture of him. And then Ryan's like, he's mean. I'm like, Psh. I thought to myself, you're not helping the case right now. You're, don't say he's mean because then they're not going to want him. So the girl comes back and she's like, actually, and she points to the other girl at the receptionist and she goes, she actually has two bunnies. She goes, yeah, I have two bunnies. Um, so I showed her a picture of Oreo and she's like, oh, he is a big boy. Cause I was telling her how big he is. And I said, we have everything, you know, for him. And I said, we're just trying to find him a new home because he's just not getting the attention he deserves and that he needs. And she was like, yeah, I have two other bunnies. She's like, let me, um, let me ask my boyfriend. Well, I haven't heard anything since then. And I saw her this afternoon when I went to pick up Ryan and I rolled down my window and um, she just kind of said hello and handed me a paper and I walked off. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, she was busy, but I'm thinking I would have known, I would have heard something by now. I expected her to maybe call me and she has my number or maybe say something to me when she saw me. She hasn't said anything, but y'all, I was hoping, I mean, it's not a no, but I just need to maybe say something to her when I see her maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll call up there. I just don't want to be a, a pain, you know? You want my bunny? You want my bunny? So, yeah, but at least we got Lou's room. Um, you know, we got it cleaned up yesterday. So I felt better today. I, it's, it's amazing how, for me especially, I get anxiety with clutter and messes, but I didn't have the energy or the drive to want to, to, do, to be able to do it. And it was just making it worse every day. It was just getting, you know, it's like debilitating and more, more, you know, 
ugh, clutter. It just clutters my mind and I just get, it puts me in a bad place. So I, y'all let me know if you're like that too. You know, um, do you get anxious over messes and, you know, things being out of place? I don't know what that's all about, but it's almost like I, you know, when things are a mess, I, my, I feel a mess. It's just the, way, the only way I can like equate it. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So we did that. And then, um, so Rye told me yesterday, um, you know, cause he had that headache the day before. So today he's like, I have a headache again. I'm like, oh my gosh. So he didn't go to his program. So yeah, so I spent the day, I had some to-dos um, today that I wanted to get done. Um, of course I fired up the 3D printers, like I said at the beginning, and I've been like playing with those today and letting those run and just kind of tinkering around those and dime painting. I was gonna do this whipping chat earlier, but I was just playing with the 3D printers and I watched a movie. That's like the honest truth. I watched a movie today. Um, I watched uh, The Good Nurse. It's on Netflix. And I'm not much of a movie watcher, but I heard somebody else mention it. And so I was like, I'll check it out. I thought at first it was a TV show. And once I saw it was a movie, I'm like, oh, hey y'all, I'm back. It's actually the next day. It is Thursday morning, uh, October 10th. So 10, 10 at 10, 11 a.m. Too bad it wasn't 10, 10 a.m. That would have been really cool. Uh, so it is the next day. Uh, the last clip that y'all saw, um, I had to pause because my alarm went off. That's because it was Wednesday night and I had an alarm set for Muni Maid. Uh, you gotta have fast fingers, have those alarms set because she does restocks at uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Wednesdays. And there's something I've been wanting and I got it, y'all. I'm so excited. So I don't wanna tell you what it is. It's gonna be a surprise. But if you know me, you might have a good guess if you know what she's been coming out with. So yes, um, so I do apologize for uh, not being able to finish last night. After that, it was like one thing or led to another and I should know better than to try to film when the kids are home. But yesterday just kind of got away from me and I was being lazy and then when I decided to film it, you know, it was when everybody was home. I got some of it done. So I do apologize for all the interruptions. This whip and chat's been all over the place. Uh, but now, of course, it's Thursday morning and nobody's here except for the dogs and the hamster and the bunny. And it's very, very quiet. So I do have my coffee, a new different cup of coffee. Yes, y'all go ahead and I'm acting like this is a brand new whip and chat. Just refresh if you need to <laughs> refresh your coffee. All right. So y'all, a lot's happened since uh, we talked last, <laughs> since yesterday. Um, after I got my Muni Made thing, which I'm so excited about, I did finish this section last night um, after everybody went to bed. And then, so I'm now working on, I'll make sure y'all can see what I'm doing, this section over here. Uh, okay, so I did mention that, I forgot to even say, and I realized it in my notes, to talk about what's gonna be happening this weekend. Um, I forgot to tell you that what tray that I'm using. So when I was going through what I'm using, I'm, I totally spaced out. This is this yellow tray, which I love, is from Bella Art Day Nicole. And speaking of Bella Art Day Nicole, Jamie and Nicole over there um, asked me to be a guest on their live. So I will be a guest on their live uh, this Saturday and it's at 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So please come join us. I'm a little nervous. It's always kind of, I always get nervous for lives, whether I'm a guest or not. I just, you know, it's a little bit of anxiety there. So yes, I'm um, looking forward to that. I love my Bella Art Dana Cole tray. Now I did mention, speaking of trays and 3D printed stuff, I did mention that I dusted off the printers um, in my craft room and I've been playing around with some things. So I wanted to show you guys since it's the next day, uh, the printers went all night. I did have two of them going. I broke one, so now just one's going. But I, I didn't break it, but I guess I have to figure out what's wrong with it because it's not printing anymore. But I wanted to show y'all what uh, what I completed. Now, these won't be for sale. These are for my Patreons. So if you are interested in becoming a Patreon, these would be, this would be a gift that you would receive from me, okay? So I did, I did finish. Um, I was able to print three shea trays. Love the color. I don't know if y'all can really see the color change in this. So pretty. So it's not perfect. Like I said, I don't think I would sell these because you know they're not they're not up to par. But they do have the heart charm in there, and it's kind of like a um, like a brick color in here, like a really deep kind of orange red. And then you've got the color change. It's almost like a sunrise. All the different colors there. Love this. So I've got printed off three of those, and then I was able to print off three. And this is what started the whole thing of me pulling out the three D printers to begin with. Um, I needed a new uh, pen holder. So I was able to print three 
of these um, pen holders. So I've got the printer fired up again. I'm gonna make more trays because I owe some more Patreon some trays. I sent out some a while back whenever I was printing them, uh, but I'm excited. I was able to do this all on my own. So yep, we're getting there. So I really do like these. Um, it actually had, this was 86% printed. It actually was gonna keep going and get even taller and go for another three hours, but I stopped it because I definitely think it's tall enough, you know? And it's kind of tiered right now. And I think it was going to be all one level, if I remember right. It's been a while since, since I've printed these. But yeah, so I'm happy with it. The, um, I do like that it's not super tall because then you can't see your pens. And I don't want to cover up a lot of the pens. But I also don't want the pens to fall out. But I kind of like that they're holding it and they can fan out, fan out just a little bit. This first level is down a little bit lower than the other two from where I stopped the print job. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. So my Patreons be looking for... These gifts, just a little something something that I can do on the side. You know, I've, I've got the 3D printers right next to me so I can watch them and manage them as I'm, you know, diamond painting or filming or, you know, doing all the things. So yes, okay, so let's get, I'm not, I know, I don't even know how much time we have left to, for the hour, but I'm just gonna go for just a little bit. I don't have a whole lot um, left to say. I mean, I like I said, we were talking for a while yesterday, but just so many interruptions. And again, I apologize for that. That's, um, it's almost like, you know, for those of you that have kids, if you remember, you know, when your kids are little, I think I've said this before, you go to someone's house um, to let your kids play and have a play date. And the moms are trying to have a conversation and it's so chop, choppy and you have to keep stopping, you know, whatever you're saying because you keep getting interrupted. That's what it felt like. So it was just a good reminder to remember that I probably should try to film my whip and chats um, when no one's here. I just thought, oh, I can do this. They're not going to bother me. But yep, there was some interruptions, which is fine. You know, I had all day to do it and I didn't do it. I was playing with the three printers and just like watching a show, watching a movie, having a grand old time. So I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but I was watching, I think I mentioned it. I was watching uh, a movie on Netflix called The Good Nurse and I finished watching it last night. I had like 10 minutes left. So I watched the ending. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I would recommend it if you're looking for, you know, a movie to watch. I don't know what I would give it. Let's see if, uh, one out of 10, I'm doing what Nate does. Uh, let's see one out of 10, 10 being the best. I would give it, I'd give it a, I'd give it a seven, 7.5 maybe. Yeah, it, it, it was good. It kept my attention. Maybe an eight if I'm going to be, you know, generous. So yeah, you'll have to go check it out if you have Netflix and if you're looking for a good little movie to watch. Uh, speaking of movies, you know, today's Thursday and Black Panther is going to be released tonight in theaters, or at least here in Texas. And Nate, my 16 year old, is a huge movie buff. Like I've told y'all, you know, before, loves, loves, loves those movies. He has been looking forward to Black Panther for months, maybe even a year. I mean, he's no, you know, he knew it was coming out in November. And he's been talking about it and talking about it. So my husband um, is out of town right now, but he comes back in uh, this afternoon. He's going to try to get home in time because he bought tickets for them to go see Black Panther at 8 o'clock tonight. So Nate is very, very excited about that. Um, yeah, so hopefully my husband makes it home in time. He's in Austin, so it's about four-hour, five-hour drive. So he wanted to make sure that he left early enough to make it home in time. And I told him, I said, you know, if you don't make it home in time... I'll go in your place. Just, you know, send me the ticket, you know, because he you know, ordered them online. Just send me this, you know, the barcode and I'll, he goes, no, I'll, I'll just reschedule it. I'm like, mm, I don't think Nate's going to like that. Nate really wanted to go see that movie. Um, another exciting, I don't think I mentioned this in the last clip, but, um, or yesterday, I got word that Lou got a basketball team. So very, very excited. She's going to be playing uh, winter basketball. So we'll see how that goes. And I gave the coach all the information that he needed for um, for her, like, you know, jersey size and all the roster information. So, yeah, looking forward to that. She'll start games. Uh, practice starts the end of November. And then, let's see, and then games start beginning of December. And I don't know how long the season goes. It probably doesn't go for very long. Yeah, so we'll see if she likes basketball. And we were walking the dogs last night. And we were talking about basketball. And she said she's excited. But she also said she'd like to try volleyball. So, you know, if basketball is not her thing, then we'll sign her up for volleyball and see if that's something she likes. She said she plays volleyball at school, 
sometimes um, for PE. And she said, everybody always wants to pick her for their team for basketball and volleyball. And she goes, and I always ask why, and they always say, cause you're tall. So I think that made her feel really good. Yep, I don't know if she's that athletic, but <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Whatever works. So we had a time last night combing out her hair. Oh my gosh, y'all, this girl's got tangles and it's the little baby curls underneath. They're so bad. And we both, I told her, I said, cause she, there's like one little tiny knot that I just cannot get out. I keep, and she doesn't want, you know, she keeps crying and pulling away and it's just a battle. And so I said, you know, after school today, why don't we go get haircuts? I'll get a haircut, you get a haircut, you get a haircut, you get a haircut, and we'll go. And we'll let them comb that out. And she's like, no, but y'all, you know, I think after school, we're just gonna go. Yeah, it's not gonna be up for discussion because, you know, she's gonna have a dreadlock if we don't get it out soon. So then I reminded her, I said, so she was crying and getting upset. And I said, you wanna see my, my school picture from fourth grade? I said, I know I've shown you before, but I'll show you. I said, now you can see, because Guy and I, you know, my mom, she calls her Guy. Guy and I used to have the same fights about hair. And my mom told me about it all the time. And I remember, so we went back and looked at my little book of all my, you know, school pictures. And fourth grade, I had the shortest hair. And fifth and sixth. And I think it was around seven or eighth that I started having long hair, but we're talking about short, short hair. And I said, so this is why, now you understand, you know, why, why Guy kept my hair so short. Because her and I would go through the same thing. She started crying. She's like, I just want to get a buzz cut. I hate my hair. She's like, all my friends don't have to deal with this. And I told her, I said, you know what? Do the, and does anybody have curly hair? She's like, no. I said, it's special. Curly hair is special. You know, people pay a lot of money, which my mom used to say that all the time. People pay a lot of money to get hair like yours, you know, curls and, you know, the perms and the whole thing. And I didn't want to hear that, but I'm repeating the same thing to Lou. I'm like, it's okay. You, it's special. It's pretty. It just takes a little more work because it is curly and that's okay. So I was trying to, you know, make her feel better about having curly hair and I get it. You know, I know it's hard. I know firsthand it's hard and I don't know if I'm the best at combing it out. And I keep trying to tell her, you know, maybe she can do it herself so she knows what's hurting and what's not instead of me doing it. And I tell her all the time how I do mine. And she's like, well, that's you, we're different. So she just, she just doesn't wanna hear it, y'all. So I am so tired of battling the hair and she wants it long and it's past her shoulders now. And again, it's just those little baby curls underneath and kind of the hair on the side where she puts it behind her ear. And she always wears her hair down. She sleeps with her hair down. And I said, that's probably another thing is you know, you get bedhead, and if we just were to maybe braid it at night when it's wet, we've tried that in the past and that seemed to help. But she doesn't want to she doesn't want it braided and sleep with a braid. So if y'all have any recommendations on dealing with curly hair, it's just I think it's just what we have to go through. I just don't think there's any you know any easy way around it, unfortunately. I don't think there's a magic answer. So it's just a constant battle, but I have to, I just have to think back. I think it's gotten better as she's gotten older. Her hair is not as curly as it was. It seems to be just more wavy, but wow, her hair gets tangled so easily. And it is worse. Um, it's harder during the summer because of the chlorine. It definitely uh, feels a little more difficult. So at least we're not battling, you know, chlorine hair right now. So anyway, sorry about all the hair talk y'all, but it's just, you know, what we had to deal with last night. And so today, because we didn't get that little knot out, she's like, mom, I want my hair in braids. So that way no one will see the knot. And I said, well, I have to separate your hair in pieces to put it in a braid. How's that gonna work if you've got a knot right here and I can't pull the hair apart? She's like, just do it. So she, she didn't want me to brush it. So she looks like a ragamuffin, y'all. She looks like a mess, a mess. But I, she wanted two braids, one on each side of her head without me brushing it. So she had her hair split in the middle. She goes, here, I already split it in the middle for you. I'm like, oh, thanks. And then I'm um, here I am making two braids on the side and without a brush and with one with a knot in one of them. Y'all, that girl looks like she doesn't get taken care of. Oh my goodness. So, mm, yep. The hair woes of having curly hair. It's not fun. So yeah, I guess we have a couple more years till it gets easier. But she'll get there. 
and then watch she'll probably straighten it every day like a lot of people with naturally curly hair do i don't I've, i don't i don't take that time to straighten my hair it's too much work okay uh what else did i want to tell y'all so like i said i wanted to mention you know that i'm going to be live this saturday so i will be a guest and then sunday i'll have my live and there'll be no guests just little old me so please join me and we'll hang out and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into yep we will see i don't think we have any plans this weekend not that i can think of no i don't think we have any plans this weekend so it'll just kind of hopefully be you know we always get into something something always kind of comes up or we may do a whole lot of nothing and i'm okay with that too i'm all for chilling out i don't need to go places and do things necessarily so we'll see what the weekend brings i'll update y'all um next whip and chat on how the how the weekend goes and then when i see a sunday hopefully you can make it i will uh you know tell y'all what's up all right so i think that's it i'm going to so my husband comes home tonight so i need to you know make things look like they've been taken care of <laughs> i mean he doesn't expect that i put it on myself like i was talking to him earlier and i'm like yeah i gotta let you go i gotta go do the dishes he's like yeah make sure there's no dishes in the sink and he's just you know joking and i'm like yeah i know we, he always gives me a hard time he's like you put that on pressure on yourself he goes i don't care I'm like i know but i you know i'm here i feel like i you know need to be doing my job so yeah i need to i i started unloading the dishwasher but then i stopped so i've got to finish unloading load it and i got laundry to do so but i'm really enjoying this diamond painting and i just want to keep diamond painting and 3d printing i am printing off another set of trays so i'll check those in a sec I just kind of close the door and don't try not to look at it too much because you kind of just let it have to do its thing. And then a lot of times it'll turn out, but at first it doesn't look too pretty. And you're like, should I cancel this? Is it not looking, is it something wrong with it? But then it, it ends up being okay. So I just kind of close the doors and kind of let it print for a little bit. And then I'll check on it periodically. But it's really fun to like come up here to my craft room after a little bit and then like see the progress of the print jobs. It's pretty fun. But I will tell you, and I've told y'all before, 3D printing is not easy. It's not easy. They're very finicky, the printers, and it can be, you know, it can be difficult. So, all right, y'all, enough printer and hair talk. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee. And yeah, I think that's it for the week. I've got some unboxings to do. I've got so many unboxings to do. I just have not felt like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I have not felt like filming. I enjoy doing whipping chats and I like doing lives, but as far as like doing unboxings, I'm just not feeling it. And I, yeah, every day goes by and I'm like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. So I really need to film. I've got one, two, three, three diamond paintings to unbox. And that's not like me. Normally I get them and then I unbox them right away. So I need to get on it, y'all. I need to find my groove. Yes, I need to get my groove back. Okay, I love y'all so much. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna stop jabbering on and talking y'all's ear off. I don't know how long we went, but hopefully, you know, um, y'all got some work done or got to wherever you needed to go and hopefully I, you know, kept you company and yeah, I really do enjoy hanging out with you guys. So please let me know how you are in the comments and before you head out, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a thumbs up, just thumbs up the video. They really do help. And then if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed, there is a subscribe button down below and it's free. So just click on that and it just lets me know that you like what I'm doing here. And if you do and you subscribe, there's also a notification bell. So if you click on that bell right next to the subscribe button, that way you'll get notified uh, whenever I post up any new videos. And I try to post up like every other day, every two days. That's normally my average. So yes, that's gonna be it. All right, I'm gonna um, keep diamond painting y'all, probably, <laughs> to be honest. All right, love y'all so much. Um, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.